Hola, everyone, and welcome to Tuesday, April 23rd, 2024. I'm Joe Pratt, keeping you informed of what's happening in the world. Happy birthday to you born on this date. Uh, you share a birthday with James Buchanan, the president, Warren Spahn, William Penn, Shirley Temple, Roy Orbison, Valerie Bertinelli, George Lopez, and William Shakespeare. President Biden is campaigning in Florida and making abortion rights the issue there. Florida has a law going into effect on May 1st banning abortions after six weeks. And they also have a ballot measure coming up that would make abortion rights part of the state constitution. Trump is in court, as you know, with the Stormy Daniels case. After the trial concludes for the day, Trump will host the former Prime Minister of Japan at Trump Tower, and the Supreme Court has scheduled a special session to hear arguments over whether Trump can be prosecuted for challenging the 2020 election results. The Eurovision Song Contest is gearing up and will happen about 10 days from now. This takes place in Malmö, Sweden, and it's been going on for 68 years now. 37 countries will participate mostly all from Europe. And uh, bands like ABBA got their start by winning the competition in 1974. The top five in movies at the box office this week are number five, Spy X Family Code. Four is the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. Number three is Godzilla X Kong. Two is Abigail, a remake of Dracula's Daughter. And number one again this week is Civil War. Top five on Prime Video this week are number five, The Big Short. Four, Sicario. Three is New York, I Love You. Number two is Interstellar. And number one is Roadhouse. And on Netflix, the top five is The Little Things at number five. Four is Glass. Three, The Bricklayer. Uh, number two is Megan Levy, and number one is What Jennifer Did. There's a conflict in Europe over TikTok. TikTok has a new app that pays users to watch videos, and the European Union is concerned that it fuels addictions. The EU wants TikTok to provide more information about the app so they can evaluate whether it is dangerous to kids and fueling addictions. Uh, Professor Diane Reibel has done research and is telling the world about many studies showing that mindfulness meditation can relieve anxiety as well or better in some instances as medication. She even has evidence of it treating diabetes successfully. In sports, the NBA playoffs continue. Most teams have played two games now. Many of the players are complaining about the refing and how critical calls have affected the games, especially those decided by a point or two. Joel Embiid has complained about the refing, and so has LeBron James. Both of their teams lost, of course. A banned pesticide in the U.S. is making its way into our food supply, a lot of it coming through breakfast cereals, especially those containing oats, like Quaker Oats or Cheerios. Uh, the pesticide is Chlormaquat, a study published in the Journal of Exposure Science and Environmental Epidemiology. Now that's a mouthful. This study found chlormaquat is in the urine of about four out of five Americans who were tested. And 92% of oats-based foods tested contain chloramquat. It's suspected that imports are the culprit in getting chloramquat into our food supply. Uh, in religion, today's quote from sacred works comes from the Bhagavad Gita. Quote, there are three gates to this self-destructive hell, lust, anger, and greed. Renounce these three. Michelle Harler has come up with 12 odd things our parents said to us that we now understand. Here they are. Always wear clean underwear in case you're in an accident. You have it easy these days. If your friends jumped off a bridge, would you? 
Money doesn't grow on trees. You'll understand when you're older. I'm not sleeping, I'm just resting my eyes. Because I said so, you think you're tired now, just wait. Don't sit too close to the TV and when I was your age. I would like to add two of my own. How about, don't cross your eyes, they'll stay that way. And don't forget to wash behind your ears. I never did quite get that one. Uh, a financial advice website is doing a promotion where they will give $1,000 to a person who hasn't seen any of the Star Wars movies. They want the person to watch all nine of the Star Wars movies and then they give their opinion of how they would rate them. Uh, Finance Buzz is the website and applications are being taken until May 4th, which is Star Wars Day. People all over the world love to break world records, right? The Nigerian chess master broke the world record for longest chess marathon. Tunde Onakoya of Nigeria played against U.S. chess champion Sean Martinez for 60 consecutive hours to break the record. Uh, that's two and a half days, folks, of nonstop chess. Onakoya didn't eat for most of that time. He won every match against Martinez, by the way. And Brenda Eccles wanted to carry out her husband's dying wish. So after he died, she cremated his remains and put them in a big hourglass egg timer, about 12 inches high, so he could continue to help out in the kitchen. Joe Pratt, make it a great day.